ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் மீ வசந்த் சண்முகம் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி வேரியஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சர்வர்ஸ் விச் வி நார்மலி கம் அக்ராஸ் ட்யூரிங் இன் ஆர் எவ்ரி டே விச் இஸ் தி வெப் சர்வர் அப்ளிகேஷன் சர்வர்ஸ் அண்ட் தி டேட்டா பேஸ் சர்வர் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் தட் இஸ் பீன் ஆஸ்க் இன் மெனி ஆஃப் த இன்டர்வியூஸ் இஃப் ஈவன் இஃப் யூ ஆர் a devops engineer or if you are a performance tester or you are working as a site and liability engineer or whoever you are whatever your profile in the it industry this comes as a question because without understanding the basics of the architecture or how does the servers are placed or what exactly is a server it is difficult to know the basics and to work on or building on top of it so let us see what is a server and what is a web server what is an application server and what is a database server and how do they work so firstly server so what is a server so server is referred to a physical thing a computer or a logical thing which is a piece of software and the web server the application server and the database server software can all run on same physical server machine and that is how every one of us would have seen the local machine which we use for development that is all the web app and the database server sits in the same machine since it is into a development zone we use it in a single machine to avoid extra cost in installing or in setting up infrastructure but the real time the production machines is distributed across multiple physical machines and there is a reason behind that most large websites like amazon or facebook flipkart tesco aldi as the or whatever every large website that you use for your banking for online booking anything something like a netflix or a hulu everything have multiple machines and most consumer hosting packages run on a single box so that is the difference between having each of these servers in a single machine and each of these distributed in large multiple machines and this setup is same in both on premises and even if you move to cloud there are separate machines that acts as a web server there are separate machines that acts as a app server and separate machines for database server so how are the logically separated so the logical separation goes this way the web server deals with https requests and passes these requests on to handlers and they have built in handlers for file requests say for example the html pages the images the css files the javascript so every web related every front end facing related requests are dealt in the web server and that is the front facing or the facing of the users so where they send where the user send their request and we can add additional handles handlers for requests that they cannot manage something like a dynamic pages that is delivering by the that is the logics that is delivered by the application servers and these web servers implement the http specification and these web servers know how to manage request and response headers and that is the main objective of having the web servers and these web servers do not have any of the data that even if someone wants to hack into your system or if someone wants to get your data that is not possible if you are having a separate web application server or a web server since they do not deal with any dynamic data and the second one is the application server and this application server 
handles the requests which create dynamic pages. So instead of serving an HTML page that is stored on hard drive, they dynamically generate the HTML sent to the end user. And here we can see an attribute that is a web server can help us to display static pages but to make them dynamic we need an application server since the application server holds the business logic and the common languages or frameworks for this are java jsp .NET, php ruby python and most of the time this application server software is running on the same physical server as the web server but in real time for very big production systems and if the business needs to have a very safe environment for the data and if they really bother about the data of the customer then the web server the app server and the database server are really kept in three different separations with the load balancers to distribute the load and next comes the database server the database server is where the application stores its structured information and typically this means custom software which allows the application server so you can remember so you can see here so the application server sits in between the web server and the database server and the application server is the only one that can send and get the information back from the database server and the web server do not have access to interact with the database server since the web servers cannot handle any dynamic request and any dynamic request will be taken care by the application server so the application server ask questions like how many items does the user have in his basket say for example if you are using an Amazon or if you're using any of the other online websites to shop so that level of dynamic questions is asked by the application server to the database server using programming languages and these database servers handles programming languages like mysql sql server oracle and any or all the relational databases and mongodb or redis or couchdb like the no sql solutions so these database server can run on the same physical machines as the web server but it's usually the first thing that gets hosted on separate physical server when the site needs to scale so here there is another point when you want to scale or when your business grows big or when the customer's business wants to grow big and if the app the app the web server the application server and the business server if they are all kept in a separate machines it is easy and comfortable for the business to scale up or to scale down when they really need to increase or decrease the business since that can be done by adding extra machines or additional machines or by increasing the power but in the same case if all these or if the entire application has been installed in the same machine without any logical separation then it is high time that we have to be doing a lot of work to scale up or scale out so in short so before I end in short let me tell you three in three lines what is a web server what is an application server and what is a database server so the web server is the server on which the website is hosted and this server will have installed web server such as IIS that is information internet services which is the Microsoft's product and the Apache and the next one is the application server where the server on which are created applications 
which are utilizing the database or the web service, etc. So this application server will host the business layer wrapped with the web services, scheduled jobs, windows services. And finally, the database server, where the database server will have one or more databases hosted, such as Oracle, SQL Server, or MySQL. And any requests that has been sent to the system will first hit the web server. And that will understand the request and send it to the application server. And if it really needs any help from the database server, then it hits to the database server and gets the request gets a response back and sends it, show it via the web server's machine that is through the browser which the user uses and we are having a separate video for how does the web server works. You can watch that at the end. So this is how the web server, the application server and the database server works. We will see about each of them in separate video. That is how a web server works, how an apps application server works and how a database server works. So until we meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Sharmugam and Little's Law.